Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take you step by step on how to create this movie poster that you are seeing right now on your screen. But before we get started, I just want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure that you are a subscriber and always click the notification button to get notified each time we drop a new video. So what the first thing that we're going to do is to import the picture that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Okay. So let me import the first picture that we are going to be using for this tutorial. After importing the picture, we are going to remove the background of this picture. Okay? So I'll come to select, select object to create a selection for me. Then I'll use my rear max button to remove the selection, click on it, select and refine here, okay, then I, I think I'm done with this, so I'm done with this, so I'm not going to scale it, resize it the way I want it to be, resize it the way I want it to be. So I think I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this for now. So let me import this. I'm going to import this and drop here. Oversize it. And change the blending option to screen. Okay, and the blending option to screen. Then click on my rear max. Then pick my brush to make sure your full background color is black so that you can be able to use your rear max to stretch to your brush to remove the part that you don't want okay Make sure you use it to remove the part that you don't want. So I can scale it the more. Maybe something like this. Okay, I think I'm okay with this for now. So, so let me pick this one, uh, this image, and put it. So let me zoom in and see what I'm doing properly. So I want this image to be standing just here. Okay. Let me scale it over to match the perspective. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. So then I want to create a realistic shadow of this image. Okay, I want to create a realistic shadow of this image. So I'm going to duplicate the image. Then make a selection of the image. Press all backspace. Okay. Then control D to the select and use my let's 
so to create it so i think okay if let me let the size the image first then make the selection click here then i think it's gone here right I think it's too sharp so what am I going to do now so I'm just going to reduce the opacity first reduce the opacity then come to filter add Gaussian ball width okay to make it look realistic okay so after adding the Gaussian ball to it so it's looking realistic so i'm just going to create a new layer here so pick my brush to reduce the size reduce the size of my brush to and paint through here through the feet okay to give it that realistic feel okay so i think i'm done with this I think I'm done with this, so I'm just going to group the whole of this. So, pick my work and work and white. So I just so pick my work and white for this image. Okay. Let me adjust the black and white a little to fit into what I want to achieve. So I think I'm okay with this. So what well, the next thing that I'm going to do? I'm, the next thing I'm, I'm going to do is to import my background. Okay. This texture look to make it have this texture feel in the background. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this for now. Let me delete this. I don't need it for now. So good. So I think I'll have to group all this together. Then and I'll resize them like this just to fit into what I want. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this. So I will now create a new layer, make the full background color to be red. Pick my brush to increase the size of the brush, and I can just maybe make the full 100%. Increase the size of the brush very well. So double need try this. Good. So I'll change the blending mode to something screen. Okay. Reduce the opacity a little. Yeah, to get something like this. So, to, to, to get something like this. So, I think, so I'll just pick my text too. Then, write the, pick my text too. 
So look at the font I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to drop the link for this font. Okay, I'm going to drop the link of this font. So choose this font. I think I'm going to drop the link of this font in the description. So make sure you just pick the link there. Or you can use the name and search for it on Google. Okay. So let me change it to black. I think. Yeah. And wait. So let me ch choose the font I'm going to be using for this way. So I'm going to be using base 02 for this way. Okay. Probably increase the font of the way. Change the color to red. Or something something orange okay change to color the, to something orange yeah okay yeah we are good to go then let me just do let me still add some I think is remaining one more thing to add in this video in this so I'm just going to add this okay this no effects okay to make it more realistic guys so I'm just going to add this snow effect here then change the red mode to screen look at it here guys and reduce the opacity to somewhere here the opacity to something like this okay then another thing that I'm going to do is to use my color book up okay use my color book up and choose choose a field that I feel that you can choose anyone guys depending on what suit to to your test depending on, on, on what suit to what you want okay you can just choose anyone here so let me say i'm using film stock okay so then i will now change the bonding mode so you come to the bonding mode and change this to to something color then reduce the opacity okay So, reduce the opacity. Then, I think the last thing I'm going to do is to increase the sharpness. I created a new layer. Then, come to others, high packs. Sorry. So, I'll just come to others, high packs. as high packs okay so this will, will pop up the sharpness of the so this will pop up the sharpness of the design so guys you just add your few text add the few text that you need in this design and we are done guys so thank you and make sure you click on the notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video thank you